Hello and welcome to this exclusive interview. My name is Sean and I'm from H2O Global News. I'm joined today by Advanced Valve Technologies President, Harry Gray, and Vice President of Global Sales, Sean Petty. Harry and Sean, Hello. thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, glad to be here. Thank you for having us. So today we're gonna to talk about valves. Everyone who works in the water industry, they surely do know what a valve is and why they're so important for the water network. But I believe that AVT are really taking valves to the next level. So before we jump into that, can you just give us an overview of your company and what work that you do? Sure, well, th this is Harry Gray. Um, our executive management team is primarily based in the United States, but we do have uh, marketing leads overseas. So we are a global company, but an emerging middle market, high growth company. Uh, our headquarters is in Chicago. We do our production in the United States as well. And we have uh, teams that are assembled in key continents around the world, whether they're distribution partners or our own employees who help us introduce this fabulous technology. Uh, ultimately, we're owned by Winpoint Partners, which is a uh, well-established private equity firm in the United States. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to build a great products company. We, uh, we do provide services, we do provide consultation, but the thing we wanna be great at is putting a world-class valve out there that's uh, dependable and available. And uh, the main thing is help our customers ensure that their end users are conserving water, have it safe and potable, and we just love being part of this industry. So that's basically AT ABT. Thanks for that overview, Harry. And I believe that you work specifically with insertion valve technology. So for everybody that doesn't know, what exactly is an insertion valve? John, an insertion valve is an inline resilient seat gate valve that can be installed live under pressure without any interruption of flow to the distribution system uh, with no water loss and no loss of service to those individuals throughout that distribution center. Uh, it is a valve and premise, but this one allows us to do it live under pressure on an existing water main, no water loss, no interruption of flow to your customers. Fantastic. And how would that differ from the existing technology that's on the market? What, what cutting edge do you have? Yeah, they're, 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 in a nutshell, there's five insertion valve companies in the world, and we feel what really sets AVT apart, first and foremost, is our customer service. Uh, secondly would be the integration of the, the assets into the valve itself. Um, you know, we have a very small excavation required to install the valve. Um, it's a lower profile, so it actually is the same profile as a standard resilient seat MJ gate valve, so uh, they can be put in the same applications as a standard valve. Um, an integrated knife gate, so uh, our basically our tapping valve or our integrated knife gate is cast into the fitting, which allows us the versatility to remove our cutter, install our gate, still live under pressure without adding additional equipment. Then it also gives us that functionality of the valve to be repaired under pressure for the lifetime of the casting. Uh, and then also standard insertion valves, they would either take a full section size on size coupon, or they would actually take a full section of the pipe out. Um, AVT, we only mill a slot large enough to install our resilient seat gate, which maintains pipe integrity. So low profile, maintaining that pipe integrity, uh, which in the end saves water, easier to use, and it's safer. Um, you know, we also add a 90 degree actuator where it's needed. So we've uh, uh, developed and patented a 90 degree actuator so we can actually put our valve in any orientation on the main that we may find out in the field. Um, and then secondly, again, customer service and a really robust training program that allows us to certify individuals to make sure that they are very comfortable with the product, know how to use it and where it really shines in the assets of adding distribution points throughout their system. Okay, thanks very much for that explanation, Sean. And Thank you. There was a point that you mentioned about saving water. And I think, especially at the moment, there's severe drought across the Western United States and across much of the world. And we're gonna be seeing this issue of water scarcity uh, more and more in years to come. 
So how does your technology actually help us save water? Yeah, this is Harry again. Um, you have to understand our culture here. We are an industrial company that makes a product, but I think um, the, the creed and the ethos of this company is about being great for the environment, and making sure we have a safe product as well. So natural resources, no human on earth, whether you're impoverished or super wealthy, we all need air, we need food, we need water. Potable water is something that we wanna protect and be great at protecting. And our, our particular device, the insertion valve is agnostic to whatever country, whatever language you speak, it goes on a cylindrical pipe and it allows you to create control points so that you can avoid leakage, you can provide network optionality to cities and ultimately we want to play a very key role, well, not well known right now, but a very key aftermarket role, if you will, making sure that basically the, the earth citizens get access to good drinking water. And I think that's the differentiator for quality of life. And the main thing is that, um, you know, if you take a, a, a country, say with a, a economy that's not as robust as say, uh, Western Europe or United States or China, um, they don't have the means, the funds, the capital to, you know, redo an entire pipe network. So what we do is we allow them to go and make the most out of the pipe network that they have. And that's the beauty of our product, the speed of it, the safety of it, and, the, and its contribution to that, I think, noble cause of protecting drinking water. Uh, there's some people who have to walk many kilometers a day just to fetch their water for the day. And if we could be part of uh, optimizing the current delivery system, you know, then we love what we're doing. And are there any case studies or a particular region where you have um, initiated and used the insertion valve to help save water? Yes, sir. We had one in particular, uh, a 24 inch insertion valve, ABT Easy Valve was installed in a uh, rural community uh, outside of Lincoln, Nebraska, uh, where we had uh, a 2 million gallon ground storage tank that needed to repair and then a unilateral flow through the distribution system but they had no way to do these repairs without taking the tank offline and putting the whole city out of water. So what we came up with was a solution with one of our distribution partners to install a 24 inch AVT easy valve, uh, which allowed them to complete the repairs and not put this whole community out of water. So it was kind of a win-win for all of us uh, where we were able to, you know, not lose any water at all, keep the system in place and then allow that municipality to complete the repairs that were needed uh, for that little small rural town without putting everybody out of water. So it worked out really, really well. You know, I, I'll add one thing to uh, Sean in the water industry, a disproportionate amount of the end product is lost just, you know, whether it's through leakage, evaporation or whatever. Uh -huh. If the petroleum industry was like that, you know, companies in countries would be going bankrupt. So we want to really shore up. There's a tremendous amount of uh, scrap rate, if you will, or loss. And I think our product helps alleviate that. And that alone can be the game changer. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Harry and Sean. And um, I, I, I would just like to ask, are there any news and developments that you'd like to share with our audience out there? Yeah, we're, we're, we're you know, primarily, you know, when the company was younger, uh, it, it tries to be all things to all people. We realized we just want to be a great product company. We want to have the highest quality product always immediately available and consistently performing. Of course, a lot of that tie-in is to our training program, our network of installers and all that. Um, how do you grow a company like ours other than selling more is you, you know, increase the portfolio products. And what that means for us is usually more sizes. So we've had, uh, I think we're the only ones right now in the market with an 18 inch and Sean can talk about that. Um, we have a, a five inch, uh, which is becoming more common and we believe we're in a kind of key strategic position in that size. We've actually brought this thing down, down sizes quite a bit where we can now go inside plants and inside uh, refineries and things like that with one and a half, two and three inch. So we have uh, something like 14 or 16 sizes between one and a half inch all the way up to 24 inch, which really provides all the resources that a city would need or their distribution partners or installation partners. Uh, we're working hard to educate the industry. We're working with our marketing professionals, which frankly lifts the harbor <coughs> of all of our competitors and ABT, the fact that we can go in and educate. Um, folks that have been in the industry decades are actually either have not heard of an assertion valve or they've heard of it and never used it. So we're educating for our own selfish benefit, but we're also helping out the entire industry at large because it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a growing classification, although technology has been around for quite a while. 
And then for us, because we want to be a great product uh, company, that means we have to train great partners to be certified, not only to do the installs, but in some cases to also train others. So we create that spawning effect in this network of folks where if there's an installation in Germany, in England, in uh, Japan, or the United States that we don't necessarily have to get on an airplane, but we can advise on how to do it and make sure that they're certified. John, anything I forgot? Uh, no, sir, you think you hit it all, but I think, Sean, the biggest thing we're growing is taking an old proven, you know, everybody knows what a valve is, and turning it to be safer, greener, uh, where we're not just using water as that old commodity that is something you could waste and nobody really cares about. I think uh, updating our procedures, always making sure that our customers are certified with any new products we may bring on board or are certified in a new step in the installation program that allows us to be safer, that allows us to make sure that everybody understands that water is going to be a commodity that we need to cherish. And I think the concept of being safer, being greener globally is really going to be the game changer for ABT. You know, uh, one thing that just dawned on me is we're seeing all these advancements in the world, whether it's information technology, uh, whether it's medicine, genetics, whatever, I'm pretty sure that a hundred years from now, water will still be carried through a cylindrical tube, whether it's plastic or metal or something else. So I think this is a product's going to be here. We'll, we'll improve it over time, but I think the purpose we have is only going to grow. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Harry and Sean. I appreciate it. Um, I think that concludes our talk. I hope that our audience out there have really learned a lot about advanced valve technologies. If there is anything else you'd like to share, um, Harry or Sean, any last comments for, for yeah, the audience? Yeah, one thing from Harry and Sean might have. Um, we've, um, you know, to understand a product that's mechanical, sometimes you have to watch it. And we realize that we can't invite the whole world to the side of a ditch. So we've created a, a pretty uh, illustrative and exciting and a robust animation video, which is accessible through our website and online portal. So we recommend folks that have some mild degree of curiosity, watch it. And I think, you know, a picture says a thousand words. I think a video does hundred thousand words. John, anything I forgot? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I was going to touch on. The new animation really kind of takes the, uh, the cloudiness of the installation and what we do into clarity. Uh, recommend anybody watching that just to reach out to us. Uh, I'm available. Uh, our marketing staff is available. If they would just send us an email, if you go online, you can see uh, there's a link there to AVT Sales. Uh, just reach out. We'll answer any questions. Uh, we pride ourselves on being available, and we pride ourselves on trying to set the situation up where it's a win-win for all parties involved. Uh, also, like I said, if anyone out there would like to see more on this particular case study or any uh, case studies in general or any new projects that we're working on, you can always go to our website. It's updated uh, weekly, daily, uh, avtfittings.com. All the resources are there. Any of our case study product specifications, uh, all the links to um, our RADS, our marketing department, anything that anybody may need or any information um, you may need on the AVT Easy Valve would be found there at www.avtfittings.com. Um, thank you, Harry. Uh, thank you, Sean. It's been a pleasure to have you today and uh, keep up the amazing work. You're really inspiration to everybody in the industry. Thank, Thank you so much. For your time, sir. And to our audience out there, we will actually include the animation at the end of this video. So hang around and learn a bit more about AVT's insertion valve. AVT manufactures, supports, and delivers training to install the AVT Easy Valve to organizations around the world. This insertion valve is installed without the need to shut off the water and without affecting pipe integrity. The first step of installation is to clean and remove any damage to the pipe. Mark the valve position, place the tape, and grease the pipe, gaskets, and valve. Place the valve on the pipe and loosely secure in position. 
Attach end rings, gearbox, and drive chain, ensuring the valve is level. Insert the blow-off port ball valve and fill the valve body with water. Attach the valve mounting plate and end milling or EM machine. Undertake the pressure test. Rotate the valve under pressure to further check the gasket seals. Detach the pressure test line and attach the blow-off hose. Rotate to milling start position. Lower the cutting head until it touches the pipe and set the depth gauge. Turn on the power and start to drill. Rotate the EM machine 120 degrees around the pipe from end ring stop to end ring stop and retract the cutting head. Turn off the EM machine and re-level the valve. Close the integral isolation valve and remove the EM machine. Attach the bonnet and retract the integral isolation valve. Partially lower the resilient wedge. Remove the end rings and gearbox. Tighten the T-bolt fasteners and fit and tighten the restraining bolts. Fully lower the resilient wedge into the pipe. Remove the ball valve and insert the plug into the blow-off port. The AVT Easy Valve is now ready for operation. Available in sizes 1.5 to 24 inches, it's easy to install, cost-effective to deploy, time-saving compared to traditional valve insertion methods, with typical installation time being less than an hour, and durable for decades. Visit avtfittings.com to learn more. Thank you.